Waka, I go hard in the motherfucking paint, sucker. Anyways, uh, why am I talking about Waka Flocka? Waka did, well, said something that I wish would happen just because I want new music from 50. So, yes, it's about 50 Cent. It's about the final lap tour. It's about Busta Rhymes and 50 Cent. So, Waka went to Twitter, or better known as, well, actually not better known, but Twitter, known as X now. So, it's kind of weird saying, hey, you went on the platform X to talk about uh, something crazy. So, he said on Twitter, which I'm going to still call Twitter, the culture needs a joint album from Busta Rhymes and 50 Cent. Don't give us a tired ass excuse because y'all going on a worldwide tour. That's too much fucking time. LOL. First off, I 100% agree. You know, I, you know, 50 Cent and Busta Rhymes, that would be the least expected collab album ever of all time for me personally. I just would have never expected that. But the only time they ever collabed was on that uh, Ja Rule diss track. Haley Mary, I think. Haley Mary, maybe. On that title, I think it was that title. I don't exactly remember the title. But that was the only time they actually were on the same track together, you know, recorded on the same track, dissing Ja Rule. That's it, though. Throughout all this time, they never hopped on a track together, which is interesting. But to get a joint album from them would be very, very unique and different. Would I be really excited for that? Nah. If anybody, if I want a joint album from 50, it's Eminem and 50. That's what I want a joint album for. But I would obviously tune in. It's 50. I would go live. I would react to it. It's 50 Cent. I haven't got an album from that guy. And we haven't got an album from that guy in 2014, since 2014. So it's a long time, man. Damn near 10 years. So I would tune into anything relating to album and 50 Cent. Uh, you can make 50 Cent and Slim Jesus on a track together, and I would still tune in from Frank Block. Shout out to Slim Jesus. If you don't know who Slim Jesus is, he's a legend out in Frank Block. Uh, check out his song, Drill Time. Pulling up my fucking gang. So he's a you know he's a white rapper that did some drill music. But I, I would tune into anything. 50 Cent and, uh, I don't know, Jim Carrey joint album. I don't know, 50 Cent and uh, Jackie Chan joint album. I don't care what it is, man. I just want some 50 music. So if this is what it takes, if Waka Flocka tweets this and Busta Rhymes and 50 decide, hey, man, we are on tour. We do got some time. Why not record an album together? That would be cool. I would I would tune in regardless. I don't know if it would be good or not. That's a good uh, question. It would probably be, I don't know, it would probably be an average album because 50 and Busta are definitely past their prime. And uh be interesting to see if they can make something modern that would hit, that would become a hit. I think they definitely... At least, if they're not going to do a joint album, I would love a track or two right now, currently, while they're on tour. Make a track or two together. So that way they can perform it on tour. That would be cool. You know, they got Jeremiah on tour, too, so maybe something with Jeremiah as well, even though 50's collaborated with Jeremiah like 90 million times. And to be honest with you, I think 50's the one that kind of has kept Jeremiah's career alive throughout all these years because Jeremiah really hasn't had that... that, that uh same impact he once had. And then once 50 jumped on the down on me record and boosted it up and did that, uh, that video with that kid who unfortunately passed away. I think like last year, a uh, Keenan, Keenan, his name, something like Keenan Reeves, something like that, or Keenan, Keenan, something like that. Uh, he was huge on YouTube doing limp sync videos. He did one with 50. He was the first celebrity to do it with him. And then all the celebrities followed because they saw the impact and how big it was. But I'm here for it, man. A 50 and Eminem joint album is what I've been wanting my whole life. I wish, um, I wish that that would happen, but I don't think that's going to happen with him with Eminem signing a new artist to his label. You know, uh, you know, I just don't see anything happen like that anytime, anytime ever. You know, I would hope it does, man. But um, you know, if I had fifty year for an interview, that's the number one thing I would I would try to drill in fifty's head is we want a joint album from U and M, even though it's past prime. I would have loved it in like two thousand four, two thousand five. You know, I still want a joint album from them. I would still listen. I would still support regardless. But yeah, a lot of people, I posted this on the Instagram just to kind of get people's responses. One person said, what we finally need is a joint album for 50 and Eminem, executive produced by Dr. Dre. Um, 50 ain't focused, so I'd rather he not do that. Uh, shit, why can he be on track too? Why the hell not NY thing? Uh, I guess it would be cool for the culture, but I think it's a little too late personally. In 06, 07, that would have been fire. Uh, nope, he said, I, this person said, I'd love to see one of the Nas. I would be totally, totally open to 50 Cent and Nas collab album. That would be insane. That's another person that I'd be really interested in. Let's see what other people say. Nah, I'm good. Never been a big Busta fan. Why? This is fire, but we we'll like M and 50, of course. Busta going to feature on a few. So, yeah, I think uh, 
50 can't rap no more. Uh, that shit gonna flop like a flock be disc unless they remake. Nah, I don't think it's gonna. I don't think it's gonna flop. I think. I don't know. I, I think if they get the right, the right one, right song, with the right feature, I don't think it would flop because 50 and Busta Rhymes they can still. I'm not saying they're gonna out here and sell you know 200,000 first week. They'll probably sell like 30, 40 k first week, which is not a flop considering how old they are as artists, how not consistent they've been throughout the years when it comes to releasing music and albums, even though Bus has released quite a few here and there. But that's not bad. Like, if they do 30 to 40K first week, that's great numbers. You know, if you're, I, in today's time, if you do 100,000 first week, you are considered a top-tier artist. you consider doing numbers. That's huge numbers if you're doing 100,000 first week. Anything, if you do like 70, 80, you're up there pretty good. If you're doing like 50, that's still pretty good. But if you're like doing 20, 10, you know, uh, maybe 30, depending on what artist you are, you know, depends all on the artist and how long, if they're new, if they're old, you know, if they've been consistent musically or not. You know, like let's just say Lil Durk drops and he only does 30K. That's a flop because Lil Durk's been consistent musically. Or Lil Baby drops and he only does 30K. Like those type of artists that are consistent, you know, it just doesn't make sense when they do that low of numbers. But, you know, 50 and Busta Rhymes, if they did 30 to 40K, that's a hit in my book. Um, you know, I don't think that's a flop. I think if, if, like, the game or Nas can do 20K on their own, 30K on their own, you know, 50 and Busta Rhymes not being able to do 30K, 40K, I think they would do that. And that's not a flop to me, at least personally. That's how I would view it. But, yeah, I mean, we'll keep our eye on this and see. You know, I doubt anything will happen, man. Anything music-related, I've kind of given up on 50 when it comes to that. I just kind of get what I can get, you know, with a Nas feature with, whatever theme power songs he's doing or BMF or, you know, you just kind of got to take what you can get features with a Spanish artist here and there. So, uh, yeah, shout out to Waka for at least bringing it up though.